In this portion of the demonstration, we're going to take a look at wire harness design in Solid Edge ST3, and we're going to use the Iron Eagle to uh, take a look at this functionality built into Solid Edge. The first thing that we want to do is change our display configuration so we can focus in on this design task, and this is going to be 07 uh, wiring. Once the information is turned off, we can kind of zoom up and see that I've already started uh, the design of our wires and a cable. And so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and change in by uh, going into the harness uh, design. Now in Solid Edge ST3 harness design, our users are able to create wires, cables, bundles, and through the harness wizard we can read from uh, information from a third-party ECAD system to quickly create a full harness and we'll take a look at that as well but to begin with let's go ahead and start simple just by creating a wire and you can see that we've got a couple of components here that we want to hook up with our start with our starter on this on this uh, model so I'm going to click on the wire command and then uh, basically the system asks us down here to go ahead and click uh, circular edges, vertices, or in space to start our path. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and identify the cylinder where I want to start my wire. And I'm just going to use the from to technique to go into the starter. And then with the right mouse button click, it's going to bring up a dialog where our users can easily select what size wire they want to place. Now, 22 gauge is great, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the 22 gauge solid copper cyan, and I'm going to accept that. And then I'm going to get, begin my second path. Now, you can see that there's three wires needed here, so I'm just going to go from uh, one component to the next. Now, we started on the top component, so let's go finish with by going down to the bottom component. Once we accept that, in this case, let's change our color. Maybe we'll go to a, uh, a green and accept that. And you'll notice that it does change the wire color, the wire path color, so it gives you an indication as to uh, at least the color of that particular wire. At any time, we can go back in and change the properties of that wire if we need to. And then for our third and final wire, for our starter, we'll bring it up and go into the cylinder that's available there and again selecting the size and in this case the color and we'll just do a solid copper orange. Now once that's complete you're going to notice that the wires uh, have been created if we go over to Pathfinder you'll notice that the the wires uh, are created there 21, 22, and 23 but they really don't follow anything they just go from the components uh, to the component uh, the starter component and what we really want to do is route them uh, much like we did with this previous wire path using a cable. So let's take a look at that option. By selecting the cable command, the system first prompts the user to identify uh, the actual wires that are going to be included in the cable. Now in order to do that, I'm just going to come down and I'm going to select those three wires that we just created. By selecting those three wires and accepting them, then the cable takes us into the path step to create the actual path for the cable. Now I'm just going to uh, click a, a point in space down here just to start the path, but then I'm going to pick up the cylinder to kind of run through, run this cable through the cylinder and through the side wall and then over to a, uh, you'll notice I have a circular um, uh, sketch here, so I'm going to change my option to go through that sketch and accept it. And at that point, just like when we're creating a wire, we can come down and we can select uh, maybe a 14 3 gauge white cable and accept that. Now once we're done with that, you're going to notice that the cable that we created, we just kind of digged a point in space. And so we need to make a, a little bit of a change to the location of that start point. So what I'm going to use is Quick Pick just to identify that point. And I'm going to straighten this out by moving it into position. 
and you can see here we can just kind of adjust it so that it uh, so that it allows us to do that. So it's real easy to uh, to create the cable. You'll notice how the cable is routed through uh, through the uh, components. And another thing that we can do is we can also take a look at the cable that was created. You notice it included the three wires that were created here. Now another way to uh, to kind of see what's happening is is to actually create uh, physical what we call physical conductors. So by right mouse button clicking on the harness itself, we can come down and create a physical conductor, and it'll actually create the physical wires, kind of give us a better idea of what they actually uh, what they actually look like. And you can see the cable uh, where the cable starts, and of course we can adjust that start point at any time, and we can route it through the side of the wall, and up over and then into uh, the starter just like we were wanting to do. So once that's done and we can see that there, uh, everything looks uh, to be okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off some of this information just by turning off the uh, wire paths. I'm also going to hide uh, the sketches. Now if I need to make any other types of changes, maybe a design change, I can come up to the face priority option and I can zoom in and you notice here if I for example using quick pick I pick up the cylinder the hole inside of this uh, side wall here I can take and I can adjust just by moving that hole if I want and you notice the top hole is in line with it so it's going to move as well and as soon as I click to place it adjusts my wires into the correct position so it's real easy to make a change in this case I grab the primary axis I'm going to pull it up a little bit closer and the cable is going to automatically adjust to those changes so it's easy to manipulate uh, uh, the wires once they're created but we've created wires 